House of the Dead remake is a remake of 1996 rail shooter The House of the Dead by Sega's AM1 Arcade Division. It was developed by Megapixel Studio and published by Forever Entertainment under license from Sega. And today we will discover more about this golden game of House of the Dead. Before we go deep into it, if you are new, just subscribe and hit the bell notification button for more of the interesting videos. Released in 1996, the original House of the Dead was on the rail shooter. It means we didn't control where or when our character moved. The camera took us from scene to scene while we showed the sampling under to stay alive and rescue survivors. It was much harder than it sounds. Boss fights challenged us to aim at tiny and moving weak points and the unforgiving arcade difficulty sucked quarters from our pocket. Repeated playthroughs revealed hidden paths that gave us more reasons to blow our change. All this remains true in House of Dead remake. The dialogue may be re-recorded but it maintains the same slokey B-movie charm. We'll still need to stay on our toes even with a more generous credit system that let us use points to buy extra lives or restart from any chapter and lots of things but we are really happy that the things are really identical. The House of Dead remake gives the classic zombie shooting game a frightfully fresh coated of paint. This remake is a rail shooter in which up to two players shoot creators, rescue researchers or collect bones items and battle bosses. The game will retain the original House of Dead, multiple endings and branching paths, which we definitely love a lot, as there will be local two-player multiplayer system as the things can be enjoyed with friends also. Both classic and modern version of the scoring system will be offered. The player can select between easy, normal, hard and arcade difficulties which give the player more or less lives. The harder the difficulty selected, the more points the player can earn. The team had difficulty mimicking light gun control with the switch gyro aiming. The opted to include a variety of control options from sensitivity to mixed up gyro analog controls so that the players may customize the controls according to their liking. The remake introduced us Armory with unlockable weapons, assault rifles, shotgun, grenade launcher, peters and crossbows can be obtained in addition to the default pistol. Megapixel shout updating the House of Dead's graphics and gameplay from modern audience. Due to legal and technical issues, they couldn't use the original game's assets. The term used gyro controls to mimic light gun functionality. Sega and their AM1 division had a little to no involvement with the game. As they set up the House of Dead remake was re revealed on April 14, 2021 as a Nintendo Switch exclusive, followed by releasing on a platform later in 2022 as they already been pushed back for several delays. The House of Dead remake is extremely short. You can breeze through the four chapters in less than an hour. Granted that this game's meant to be re replayed, so we will really love to play the game again, but it is still disappointing to how quickly see all the content. Even at the low budget, we really want more from them. But it is always a good have some childhood memories in a new way and yeah that's all from today guys hope you all enjoy the video if you are new just make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification button for more of the interesting videos so see you all soon till then have fun good luck and peace